this all, 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 all these questions can be directed towards whoever wants to answer. Okay. 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 Are you guys cool doing it here? Or yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. All right. That's it. Awesome. Are we ready? Yeah, let me press the floor. Yeah, go. All right. Uh, who is your current tattoo artist? I guess I'm, I'm the one who still like has stuff that it's getting worked on. Um, currently, it's Todd Bain. He works at a. Is it Red Wish? It's called Red Wish. Yeah, he um, he was working at a place in San, in the San Diego San Diego area. That's where we all started, to, you know, get acquainted with him and eventually befriended. And then he moved to Texas to open his own shop in Weatherford, and it's called Revolution Tattoo. So Todd Bean. Yeah. Me too. He was yeah, guy. Yeah. And then yeah. I, uh, like only maybe ten miles from over there. Sloppy Joes are the best. Yeah. Oh well, my gosh. Actually, uh, we should add an addendum to the, uh, to the DVD because since then, I think we kind of stopped. Or Phil and I at least quit because one day we were, we went to Gino's. You know, Pat's and Gino's are some pretty popular cheesesteak places in, uh, in Philly. And uh, we just got into the most pointless 
like screaming argument about what a sandwich was because he like punched my sandwich. He's like, dude, it's not a sandwich, it's a cheesesteak. And then we just argued in front of everyone and they were like, we got so pissed about it and they were just like, I can't believe I'm witnessing this. And to this day, I think it's, I, it, it's safe to say it's one of the stupidest arguments they've ever seen. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how, how does it feel to, to know that you have so many uh, non-Christian followers as well as Christian followers? Well, I think it's you know it's, it's a realistic cross section of life. It, to me, it's odd when um, when a Christian man only plays for a Christian audience or only uh, he writes in a way that only Christians can relate to. Kind of what's the point? Yeah. Right. Uh, but on, on the flip side, I think if you can, um, you know, they have something that's very meaningful and they don't, they don't stand up for it, they don't. You know, like I said earlier, I, I write about, which, you know, I'm trying to help my, my own, myself through life. And um, if I were to, like, you know, erase my Christian perspective because I didn't want to offend anybody, then you know, that would be ridiculous as well. So I think it's, it's natural for us to have things on both sides. In my opinion, you guys are like the hardest rocking band ever. I love you guys to death. Oh, thank you so <laughs> much. And we still have a question. Um, we already have, we have a side project, Gosh, we did have a chance. Do you have any idea you guys have side projects? Uh, nothing really official that I work on a lot, but I, I hope to get something going pretty soon just because we're going to, you know, the album's out now, so I can actually think about something else. Any suggestions for options? <laughs> I heard 